hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first summer fragrance wardrobe so i'm going to show you guys all the perfumes that i put on my perfume tray for the summer all the fine fragrance mists as well as a few fragrance combos that i've already tried out we are going to jump straight into the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay so before you get started i did change my setup as you guys can see so my perfume tray is everything on this tray over here and then i just have this display as well as this display and then these are all of my fine fragrance mist and other things that i have picked out as well let me know how you guys like the new setup because me i actually really love it okay so these are the perfumes that i have picked out let's start off with kaoli vanilla candy i picked this out because i just got it recently and also because i just love this scent i feel like even though it has that vanilla factor to it it's still very appropriate for the summer because it's so sweet especially since it's the beginning of the summer so right now in la it's 85 to 90 degrees and i feel like this still works i probably will put it away closer to the end of the summer because it'll probably be one of those scents that's a little too creamy at the end of the summer and then i picked out we glow by juicy couture this is always a good one for the summer i'm actually about halfway done with this bottle this is a fragrance that i pull out every single summer so i probably will use this up before the summer ends which i'm fine with because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna put this on my next perfume tray as well so i love that i also have the original we by juicy couture this one has notes of i believe watermelon in it and i'm also about halfway done with this and i use the same system as the last one every summer i bring her out i don't know if i'll be able to finish this whole bottle this summer because this is a bigger bottle than this one because you see so i don't know if i'll be able to finish it up by the end of the summer but this is definitely one that i will repurchase so if i use her up i'm just gonna buy another one now over here i have sabrina carpenter's sweet tooth I love this scent. This is a more recent pickup for me and I am obsessed with the candy sugary powderness that is this scent. It smells so good and I also love the packaging like how cute is that? It looks like a pink chocolate bar. So I'll be using this and mixing this with things. I actually haven't used this one during the summer yet but I am excited to do so. And then one of my favorites, this is Burberry Brit Sheer. As you guys can see, I'm about halfway through this bottle as well. And I've been using her already. Like as soon as I put her on the perfume tray, this was the first one that I reached for. So I do have some good fragrance combos with this. This is another one that I love to pull out for the summer because it has that sheer essence to it. So it's just perfect. It's nothing too intoxicating. It's a very pretty, nice, light, breezy scent. It's something easy to reach for for the summertime for me next i pulled out this um ariana grande god is a woman perfume it's not my favorite but it is something that i would like to just use up so if i don't know what to wear this is just something i could just throw on i have another scent on my perfume tray that i'm using the same system with and that i'm just trying to you know use up and get out so we have that somebody is calling me so let's get back to it the next fragrance that i pulled out simply because i missed her like i gave myself a little break from her this is valentina donna born aroma pink pp and when i first got her i could not put her down and then i said you know what i cannot get another bottle of this so let me chill out a little bit so i did chill out but as you guys can see i did put a pretty significant dent in it for me to have just gotten it when i got it and then giving myself a few months of a break from it like I was wearing this every single day so I just wanted to pull her back out. I love this scent. I also feel like it's a fun summery scent because it has like a fruity element to it. Although it has the original Born Aroma DNA it does have like a fruitier essence to it so I thought that that would be nice for the summertime. And then moving over here this is a more recent pickup. This is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Le Bubbly and I love this scent. First of all the packaging is just so cute. I don't even know what notes this has in it but it has like this like champagne-y type of essence to it and i just want to get some use out of her for real i don't even know if this is technically considered like a summery type of scent but for me i'm gonna wear it in the summer because i want to get some use out of her because i just got her i haven't played with her that much so i just wanted to give her a chance and it's not one of those scents that will bother me in the summer so i did pull her out i also pulled out bronze goddess by essay lighter this is one of my favorite scents for the summer i picked her up last summer and as you guys can see i put a little bit of a dent in her and i have worn this scent one time since the summer began the scent combinations that i have for this are so so good for the summertime the name of it is very fitting it's a very bronzy type of scent and i feel like it has like a coconut element to it so i like to mix it with coconut type of scents which i have a nice fragrance combo with a coconut scent for this so i did pull her out 
I pulled that out. I also pulled out Pink Sugar because I picked this up not too long ago and I just have not really gotten any use out of her. So I just wanted to pull her out. It is like a really fun sugary candy like scent. So I can mix her with some things since it's just the beginning of the summer. It's not like suffocatingly hot yet. And then I pulled out this Paris Hilton scent. So I went to Ross a little while ago. The lady that was ringing me up smelled so good and I asked her what she had on and she said it was this. And I was like, you know what? I have that scent and I really have not played with her like that. So I had this scent on my mind because of that. So I just went ahead and pulled her out. She's a classic. She's just, she's just a classic. This is not really a perfume, it's a body oil, but I love the way this smells. This is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, and I want the perfume for this so bad. That is going to be on my birthday wish list, so, you know, maybe I'll get the perfume. But until then, I'm going to be using this body oil. This body oil was $40 at Sephora. I feel like it was worth it. It smells so good, and the shimmer is so pretty. It's like a two-for-one type of thing, because you get the perfume smell, and then you get the shimmer, which I love body oils and body shimmers, so... I pulled her out next I pulled out this Ariana Grande is this already or is this sweet like candy y'all I don't know the name I forgot the name of this scent but this is one of those scents that I just want to use up and get out of my collection I'm ready for her to be gone so I'm going to use this up over the summer ends along with God is a woman so hopefully these two will be gone by the end of the summer if not by the end of the fall because I'm ready I'm just ready I've had her for so long and it's just time for her to go She's just not, I don't know, she's just not one of my favorites. Next, I pulled out this Ellis Brooklyn Peaches Fragrance Body Mist. They actually sent this over to me, and this is probably, I think this is the only fragrance in my collection that I was gifted. And this smells so good, and I feel like Peaches is perfect for the summer. I have so many fragrances that I want to mix with this, and I actually have this on today. I mixed this with the Bath & Body Works Bridgerton Diamond of the Season scent, and this one has notes of peach, daffodil, and jasmine in it. And I wanted to bring out that peach, so I did put this on top, and it smells amazing. I'm actually watching season three of Bridgerton right now, which inspired me to, you know, put this little combo together. So, so yeah, I did pull her out. That smells so good, like so good next i pulled out mimic 99 which is a blend of amber floral wood and i honestly don't know what i was thinking pulling this out because i feel like this is more of a fall type of scent so i might actually put her back and pick out something else i'm gonna put her back and we're gonna pick something else out i'm gonna pull out perfect by mark jacobs because it has that cherry note in it and i like to mix this with firecracker pop for the fourth of july which is around the corner so i'm going to pull her out instead and i'm also going to pull out my firecracker pop even though it's just a little one i don't need a big one okay so that's my perfume tray for the beginning of the summer let me know comment down below let me know how i did and now let me show you guys all the fine fragrances okay i hope this angle isn't too bad that's the best i can do because i do have this up on the wall so i did pick out some of my spf and like body glow stuff that i like i recently picked up this kapari sun glaze sheer body mist and y'all this is a summer staple so i definitely want to put her right here so it could just be easy to grab for the most part i was using this one last summer it has spf 50 in it and then I went ahead and picked up the fairy godmother just some good body glow stuff for the summertime i like to glow i want all my skin to look shimmery so now let's get into these let's get into these fine fragrances and i actually have room for more if i wanted to put more up here but i'm just gonna stick to these ones so first every year i pull on my beachfront blanket and i try not to use her up i just want to get some use out of it but i don't want to use her up because what if they never bring her back which they probably won't so I pulled out Beach Strong Blanket. The notes are fresh white lemon, summer sun rays, and soft musk. To me, this smells very coconutty, and I like to mix her with um, Cloud by Ariana Grande, but I want to try some other fragrance combos with her because that's like my go-to. Every time I wear this, I'm putting on Cloud by Ariana Grande. I need to try something else. So I went ahead and pulled her out. Next, I pulled out Copper Coconut Sand, and I wore this with Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder, and these two smell so, so good together. Copper Coconut Sands is one of my favorite coconut type of scents. The notes are Sun Kissed Coconut, Soft Orchid Petals, Creamy Sandalwood. I love this scent so much. Of course, I had to pull out Summer Melody, my favorite summer scent ever, and the notes are very simple, Golden Honeydew and Bronze Vanilla. This is another one that goes good with Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. It smells so good. I actually wore this with We Glow on the first day of summer, and these smelled amazing together. So good. Such a good combo. 
Next, I pulled out Mimi in Miami, which I have not gotten much use out of. I might have used her like one time. I didn't reach for her that much in the spring, but to me, this is a good summertime scent. The notes are breezy palm trees, Cabana Coladas, and Sun Tanned Rays. I want to try her with Bronze Goddess as well. I have a lot of fragrance combos that I want to try with Bronze Goddess. I haven't come up with much fragrance combos for this yet, but we'll see what happens. Next, I pulled out Peach Bellini. I love peach in the summertime. I think it smells so good. The notes are succulent peach, sparkling prosecco, and sweet orange. I think this will smell good with Viva La Juicy Le Bubbly, as well as my Ellis Brooklyn Peach Fine Fragrance Mist. So, just some ideas that I have for her. Also, I pulled out Diamond of the Season from the Bridgerton collection, which I already talked about already. I already told you guys I'm wearing this today. And I think I read off the notes already, but if I didn't, the notes are Sparkling Peach, Spring Daffodil, and Radiant Jasmine. Next, I pulled out If You Musk because I started using her towards the end of my last fragrance wardrobe and fell in love. The notes are Iris, Pink Pepper, and Airy Musk. To be honest, I didn't even really pay attention to the Glossier perfume before I got this scent. I just got the scent because it was a dupe for a higher end perfume. So I actually started using this scent and then I fell in love. And then I went to Sephora and I smelled the Glossier perfume and I'm like, wow, I actually kind of need her. So that's another perfume on my fragrance wish list. Also pulled out Gingham Gorgeous, which is Pink Strawberries, Peach Nectar, and Peony blossoms i have so many different ideas for this of course she smells good with the valentino pink pp and i also want to try her with the sabrina carpenter sweet tooth i want to try her with pink sugar I, I have so many ideas for her she smells so good all by herself as well if i just want to wear her by herself we all know and love her and then one of my favorites among the clouds just a really good one this one is wildberry skies and with vanilla clouds i think this will smell good with vanilla candy from kali so i'm gonna try those two together and we'll see how that goes this one i wasn't too sure about keeping out this is sweet petal pound cake i'm thinking maybe i'll use this on the days where it's not so hot because I kind of can't see myself using this on a super hot day. The temperatures is about to get crazy. Next week it's going to be in the 90s and it's just going to go up from there. So I don't know if I'll be using this in like 90 to 100 degree weather. But you know maybe on the not so hot days I'll reach for this. So I have her and those are all the fragrance mists that I picked out for the summer. For the first half of the summer actually. Because I already know I'm going to be switching these around. Probably before my birthday, which is August 3rd. So probably um, probably next month. But for now, those are all the fine fragrances that I have picked out. So those are all the fragrances that I'm focused on for the first half of the summer. Comment down below and let me know how I did. And also comment down below and let me know if you have any recommendations, whether it's fragrance combos or just fragrances. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.